。皆さんこんにちは。こんにちは。私マークマリンです。私はグレッグテイラーです。よろしくお願いします。はい、よろしく。And Mina san Yoko so to Musings in Japan 44. 44. 44. So many, so many, so many, so many. So, Can what you we like it, to, Mark? Yeah, I can't believe it. I mean, this is, you know, so many, so many things that we talk about. So, let's, hey. It's a nice, it's a nice、uh, number too, 44. Yeah, 44. It's very even. So, let's,、yeah. make, let's make this an even、uh, broadcast today. So, first of all,、um, hey, it's Olympics time. Yep. Winter Olympics, Beijing. You know, it's kind of weird. 22. Kind of weird to have、uh, the summer and winter Olympics back to back like this because of the, the coronavirus. <laughs> you know, so. Yeah, wasn't, wasn't that weird? It's like、uh, the 2020 Tokyo Olympics were in 2021. And now we're、know. in the Winter Olympics right now. Yeah. And, and it just seems like a. It just seemed like a few months ago I was sitting in my, my home in Okazaki, you know, watching the, the Olympics in yeah. Tokyo. Yeah. So, so right now it's kind of weird because, you know, there's a, I, and I don't, I don't, I watch the opening ceremony and I watch some of the Olympic coverage here in Japan because there's a lot of push for the Japanese athletes in Winter Olympics. But all I get feedback is a lot of, lot of negative about the, The,、uh, how would you say, the staging of this Olympics by Beijing? You know what、oh, I mean? Oh, yeah. How's that? Well,、uh, they,、um, they wanted to have the Olympics. The, this is the first time, the first time in Olympic history that the same city has hosted the Summer and Winter Olympics. Yeah, I think so.、No. It is. It, that was a big thing. And, and, and it's all done on purpose to. Uh, support the current president of Japan, uh, uh, Xi Jinping, you know, to, you mean, to uh, president uh, of China. President of China. Yeah, I said Japan. <laughs> <laughs> I'll cut that out. Okay. Anyway, but the president of China, so it makes him look stronger because this next, I think this next year, or、well, this year, is an election year. So, so he could do this in, under his watch. A summer and a winter Olympics in the same city makes him look strong. So everyone will vote for him and he'll have another 50 years or something in power. I don't know what, how it works. You know, election year, how, how's that really work? I mean, he's, he's obviously going to be unopposed. So,、um, you know, he's, well, I, he's, I, a, yeah, he's you a know, I, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. <laughs> so, anyway, in China, but, that is. I mean, that's so for me, though,、uh, I, I just like, Was amazed that since Beijing is really not a mountain city, they actually had to,、um, what do you call it? They had to create all these snow events. So they, it, they're running around 90% man made snow for everything. Can you believe yeah, that? Yeah, I, I, I saw pictures.、Um... And you know,、um, the only area that you see snow covered is because it's,、uh, there's no snow.、Uh, it's, and they, they say it's due to climate change or whatever. But the, the thing is, there's no snow on the surrounding. And it, I wouldn't quite call them mountains, but、no. I'd call them really big hills. There, there are hills. And, 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 I, and actually,、uh, yeah, there is not much snow in this area of Japan,、uh, China. I have to think, say China, not Japan. Because.、Um, And it's not because of climate change. It's actually because it's, it's not a snow region, but it's cold. It gets really cold. It's very cold. cold. Really yeah. cold. Yeah, it sure does. So, so when, I was in, when, I was in,、um, in, when I was in Beijing、uh, 10 years ago,、uh, this past December,、uh, the temperature was down to, I mean, the high temperature was maybe in the, in the mid 30s. Right. The、so、high, it, yeah. was, it was cold then. It was very cold then. Yeah, the high temperature. Yeah,、and、right. Sometimes now, it didn't climb above 30. Right. And then that area in those hills, it's always below freezing. So, you know, so it's perfect. They can just carve out this ski. So, yeah, you know, and the, some of the athletes have complained about the quality of the snow. It's not the same as natural snow, but it's good enough for the Olympics. So, yeah, why not? You know, so anyway, are, are you a big winter Olympic guy? Mark, I lost you. We had,、oh. uh, uh, you'll have to edit this part. 
Okay. Well, are you a big Olympic fan, a Winter Olympic fan? Yes, I am. I, I'm a huge Winter Olympic fan. I'm a huge Summer Olympic fan as well. But I'm, um, you know, I, I I haven't had the time to watch much of the events since it started a few days ago. But um, I've watched some of it, and uh, but mm. I love all the Olympic sports. You, really, you? like? I'm not a big Winter Olympic fan. I like kind of. The only winter Olympic events are like kind of the things that are like more traditional, like ice hockey, um, curling. I kind of like. <laughs> I love curling. Curling's kind of funky, so um, yeah. And I, I love I love um, uh, bobsledding, and the the luge. Ah, uh, you know the skeleton. The skeleton is that the one? The, the I like the skeleton because you lay flat on your back and. Some I remember a comedian describing it as like pushing a. The reason they call it a skeleton is just like pushing the dead body down a down a ski slope. <laughs> you know, but you well, said, I, it's kind of kind of nerve wracking, actually. I, I, White knuckle I, ride. I, I know people who who say that that it's very difficult and it's and it's it really is a, a challenging sport. But I, I I didn't grow up in a snow region, so that wasn't that's not my thing. So. But anyway, but um, the Olympics are on, so I hope that you get a chance to ch check them out. I mean, I, for me, it's perfect because it's in the evening here, and I can see all these things live. I've been watching, like, uh, women's ice hockey and things like that, so it's no problem here in Japan. But I'm close to China. How about you? What time do you get the events there? You don't see them live then, I assume. Uh, we do. You know, as, and as, as everyone knows, um, I'm here in, in, in California right now. Um, but but uh, I uh, interestingly enough, some of the events are live, and in fact, there was a ski um, these moguls skiing. This like where these yeah. these guys. I, I don't I'm I don't I'm not in that kind of skiing. I'm in downhill or alpine skiing uh, or ski jumping. That's my uh, or the um, the uh, slalom. I love those those right. races, but. But uh, anyway, my my wife and I were watching the same exact um, broadcast at the same time. And yeah, the moguls, live. yeah, the moguls were in the daytime here. So yeah, that, those so were they, one of the they were. Yeah, it was it was nighttime here, and Perfect. so I was watching it live last night, and 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 it was great. And so, mm -hmm. um, you know, and there's it's weird to see no people like Tokyo. There's no people for the most part at the events. And I think that they kind of lose a little bit of luster without the fan. Um, yeah. You know, it's, 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 it's just, it's kind of sterile. So it is, it is, but, um, yeah. but, it's but I'm, I'm glad they're, they're having the Olympics. I'm, I'm truly glad. And I'm, it's fine with me. They're in Beijing. I just, and, and, and I'm fine with it too. It's just, I just hope that the, the Chinese Olympic committee and the IOC, the international Olympic committee, you know, because I've already heard bad, um, bad conditions about for the athletes in terms of the the Corona uh, condi protocols that they have. Because China is very difficult compared to other places. So some athletes are put into what do you call isolation, you know, and they don't get quality food. They don't have quality training. And even though they're just waiting for the results, yeah, you know, I but. You know, that's the IOC's responsibility to take care of those things for the athletes. So, yeah, uh, that that's true. And, and another thing is, um, uh, I know that the NBC is um, broadcasting. You know, pays more than anybody for the rights to broadcast mm -hmm. the Olympics here in America. They um, have no reporters, and mm -hmm. everything's done remotely from, I think, New Jersey. No, Br in, Bristol, in the United States. Yeah. Bristol, the ESPN. Oh, Connecticut. Yeah, they're using the ESPN. The NBC is using the ESPN connection. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I saw. I I was. I listened to the sports podcast. Oh, and, interesting. Yeah, and it was like it's like when it's, it's crazy. Yeah. So I, I just wanted to apologize to everyone on this uh, musings because our Wi-Fi between Greg and I is coming in and out. So we're just going to leave it in and see what happens. How's that, Greg? Yeah, yeah, my apologies. I think it's my, my wife uh, okay. acting up. Oh, sorry about that, folks. Hey, so, let's, let's change uh, it up a frozen. bit. Let's change it up a bit here. So, um, so one thing about this Olympics that's different than other Olympics is that gambling is not allowed at all. 
for this Olympics in China, as you know. So even in places like Macau and Shanghai that have gambling for sports, they're not allowed to gamble on or bet on the Olympic Games this, this, this time around. Well, I think it's also with China having much stricter control over those um, those uh, places now that that they're kind of clamping down in Hong Kong and 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 Macau and and uh, um, integrating them more into the Chinese mainland the, the kind one, of culture. Yeah, the one China policy is what the one call. China thing. Yeah, yeah, the so, one China policy. But you know. Uh, uh, and I know in the States now, because I've been listening to a lot of uh, sports podcasts, especially following football, and we'll get to the football later. I noticed that um, there's a lot of states now are allowing g- sports gambling, like New York State just a, a month ago, two months ago. Now, New York State is not allowed sports gambling through the um, programs like DraftKings or FanDuel or all these, these uh, sports betting sites now. And they're actually allowing it, and more states are voting it in. And has California got into sports betting yet? Allowed that to happen? No, I don't think so. But no, uh, but but you know the, um, of course, um, I think sports betting is going to come, and this, this is not based. It, it's based on. I thought I read this somewhere, so I I don't I, I don't know if it's true or not. But I thought that there was some sports betting that was going to come to the uh, the Native American, the Native casinos, the Native American Indian casinos. Right. Yeah, I, I heard about that. They're they're working on it. That the they're working on. It, yeah. I think so. Yep. So, but you know, the casinos are alive and well here, except for the COVID issue um, in in California. <laughs> but we don't have the sports app per se. But what's interesting is you see the national broadcasting. The, the the NFL uh, nationwide uh, commercials you see Caesar's that's sports right. app and, that's and, what I'm and with you know so it's uh, it's um, sports betting online is is um, well, starting it, to take off here well, I think, right, in America right now it's allowed I believe in twenty states you can do online sports yeah betting. so that's quite a quite a quite a lot yeah but not yet in California yeah in, so. In, and, and I don't know if that will happen. And, you know, in Japan, you know, we don't have much betting. We don't have any sports betting like that outside of horse uh, racing or boat racing. Well, you, you know, uh, N- Nevada is probably Nevada is probably the gambling capital of the world, I would think. Still. Uh, and and uh, recently, in fact, uh, in January, just, this, uh, just a short time ago, uh, in January, there's a person who who um, was playing a slot machine at Treasure Island in Las Vegas, and and uh, he won a, a a huge jackpot of almost a quarter of a million dollars, Ooh. and and yet apparently he, unbeknownst to him, it it, it 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 paid, but it didn't tell him that it paid. Wait, and, so he and played so he, just, he played a slot machine. Uh, apparently he was playing a slot machine, like one of and, those uh, uh, pit slot machines, and you win the. Big I have prize. no idea. Just I just know that he was playing a slot machine, and and uh, it it paid off, and and, uh, and he, he didn't know, know so it. he left. <laughs> he didn't know. Wow. wow. So what was interesting is the state uh, licensing board, the the gambling commission for Nevada, they tracked him down and not only did they track him down, they tracked him down through very, very um, exhaustive measures using exhaustive measures to track him down. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, uh, Cameras, surveillance cameras, um, receipts. They, they really went out of their way to track him down because they wanted to make sure this person got paid. Well, I know, I know that, that, I know that, uh, you know, we talked uh, about this before that the, there is a law that now that requires those places to do that because they used to like, if you didn't, if you didn't pay, collect, yeah, show, you know, uh, Shogunai, <laughs> you're out of luck, right? Yeah. So, but so which anymore. reminds me in, in Japan, you know, Las Vegas is, uh, you know, Las Vegas gambling people love, uh, you have that kind of gambling in mm. Macau and, uh, um, oh, and, and, and all across the United States in various venues, 
But um, Japan does not have a, a traditional casino like Las Vegas style. No, um, no, no. And 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 but yet, tell us a little bit about gambling in Japan because I, I I've been to those places. I've I've only been a few times, but I've I maybe I never played the most traditional form of gambling, um, the most popular form. Yeah, I think I I played a slot machine w- one time. Uh-huh. In all my years in Japan, yeah. So, um, yeah. But, I, so, tell us about pachinko. Well, see, see, Japan has a has a very distinct definition of gambling. Is you have gambling and you have gaming. So, gaming would be pachinko. Pachinko is the is the most common thing, and I think we mentioned this once before on, on the musings. But pachinko is, is you win a kind of a stone or something. So you're playing on little balls and they're dropping through a machine and trying to manipulate them and you cash out and you get trays of balls, steel balls. And then you go to a counter and then they give you a prize. And then when you leave the pachinko parlor, there's another window outside of the pachinko and then you can exchange the prize for money. So so what you're so you're, you're actually gambling but you're not getting paid in money. You're getting paid at this prize. And then all you're doing is exchanging the prize. You can keep the prize. And sometimes they give out good prizes, but usually they're like cartons of cigarettes, um, a six pack of beer or something. You know, I mean, the, nothing very special, but pachinko is so popular though. E- everyone loves pachinko. I remember teaching classes of students, uh, company students. And, and I said, you know, it's a weekend. So what are you going to do on your weekend? So uh, I'll, they have to work on the farm, okay. And then what do you do after that? Play pachinko, and the, and they they they'll spend two, three, four hundred dollars an hour playing pachinko. You know. Yeah, one of my favorite restaurants by Niigata Station before it was there. I remember. That's I right. remember before it was put in um, was the pachinko parlor. It was a pachinko parlor, right? Yeah. Now they're all over the place. <laughs> but but there's the pachinko parlors are all over Japan and many. Uh, there's it, even in smaller towns they have them. So, yeah. well, the um, well, what gamb- about you know? There had been discussion about bringing uh, casinos. Yeah, um, casinos in Japan uh, was a big item. Uh, I just before the the coronavirus hit, before the pandemic. pandemic. Okay, and uh, Greg is really frozen here, so I'm going to stall real quick. This, this is my recording. There's Greg. Are yep. you back? Are you back? I'm I'm here. All right, good. Oh, whew, I thought I lost you, Greg. <laughs> but um, but uh, before the pandemic, they were they were trying to have a casino bill. But what what happened was, and I'm going to mention China again since this is our our thread. A, a Chinese business had paid into this uh, casino cooperative in Japan that was, uh, I would just say, lobbying the government to set up uh, uh, casinos in Japan. And this Chinese company and, and man actually paid lots of money to different politicians to try to secure the vote. So that way his company would be the, the company to help back these casinos. And that was illegal because it's a foreign entity giving money to a, a national entity. And you can't do that in Japan. You can't. And so these politicians were arrested and, and, you know, and stripped of things. And a couple of people went to jail and they're still putting the, the Chinese company in. in, in uh, uh, they've been what we call blackballed from Japan. So and now the casino idea is gone in Japan. They don't want to do it at all. And most people really, yeah, most people now and the government don't want to go into that because the the dark underside of foreign investment and mafia and underworld investments, they can't control it. So they say, we're just not going to do it until they can figure wow. out a way to do it. There, there had been discussion for a long time. Yeah, a I long mean, time to, maybe yeah. almost 20 years they've been talking about this, but it almost made it. But because of that, that uh, corruption already, just in the lobbying process, the government now, uh, Abe, uh, the former prime minister, Abe, squashed it. He just, he tabled it. And then, and since then, we've had two prime ministers since then, and it's never been mentioned. It's, it's right now, there is no stomach for it at all. So the, Interesting. the only, 
the only place that you can gamble in Japan, I mean, where you're betting your money on some action are horse races and boat races. That's it. You know, what about bicycle races? Oh, yeah, that's right. Kading. That's right. The bi- bicycle race. That's right. And that's seasonal. And I, I just yeah. remember what that. That's a seasonal sport. Yeah, that's right. They, yeah, they have one in, yeah. I, 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 I remember this um, Japanese movie that I really liked. Um, uh, 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 it's a, uh, called Kikujiro no Natsu. Yeah. I like that movie. And, Actually, and uh, yeah. they had a segment on bicycle racing in that movie, and it was hilarious. Actually, did you know in Niigata, in Yahiko, there's a, there's a velodrome. There's a cycling yeah. track I, there. I, I, I don't think I realized that, but that's interesting. Yeah, yeah so I forgot about it. I, they, I, they didn't, have, I didn't. Yeah. The, the only traditional gambling that people do, kind of like, you know, the, the, you know, the CD kind of gambling in Japan is mahjong. There's lots of mahjong oh, yeah. parlors, you know, people will you know go in there and then spend their money and and it's not an old woman's sport here in japan mahjong i mean a lot of university students play mahjong so what was interesting is is uh, <laughs> i i lived i lived right next to uh, mahjong parlor That's i right. never i i never went in it and i'm glad that um <laughs> at the time i you know I, I never went in it so uh but i it was there but had yes. i gone in it uh, um, I think that I could have lost my visa. I think that, um, or had I uh, been employed there or something, but there was some, well, you something. you couldn't be, in, a, yeah, you couldn't be employed. I couldn't yeah. be associated. Yeah, I could not be associated with that that place. Right. Uh, yeah. Because when it, it was my student visa when I uh, studied right. Japanese. So, because that was what my <laughs> first visa in Japan was, yeah. was our, a student visa. Yeah, our school, our school has, expelled students because they were they were playing or gambling they were in pachinko parlors they're not supposed to do that either that's against the the visa so you know they're not supposed to be gambling or gaming in any way like that so well anyway but um yeah so gambling in japan if you want to gamble on sports you have to do it friendlies like what we do you know so you know i'm so many people do that in japan uh, not really, unless it's oh, maybe on soccer games, you know, you know, somebody's a Tokyo Verdi fan and you're someone's a antler fan. They might gamble with each other, but it, it's a, those are friendly kind of things, you know, like what we do with football, you know, American football, the Super Bowl. We, we do that once in a while. So, you know, so have you been catch, have, are you, are you ready to? For some football, the Super Bowl. Are you ready for that, Greg? I'm ready for Super Bowl. Who are you going Super for? Super Bowl Sunday. Come on. You got to say it again. I, I lost your sound. The Rams. You going for the Rams? Good on you. I'm going for the Rams. All right. Yeah, I'm. I'm looking forward to the Rams winning the Super Bowl. Yeah, I hope they win. I want the Rams. I mean. I, uh, this year, this is this is the first year that I've fully invested in watching NFL. The uh, I got the NFL app. I mean, I have it on my phone. I watch it on my computer here, and I've been watching all the games and checking out things. And this is the first year I've been completely invested in watching football every week. Because Japan has shown nothing. You know, that's I, I watched. Uh, um, I watch it through my NFL Japan account, and uh, I have to watch it using a VPN. Because if mm-hmm. I watch it through America, then um, it doesn't allow me to watch it here in America. So uh, I'm on my Japanese account. Mm. And, and it's interesting because uh, I, 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 I look at Netflix or the NFL, NFL Game Pass, and they're both Japanese. Uh, they're, mm-hmm. they're, they're accounts that I created in Japan. Yeah, mine's Japanese, but it also... Uh, it- how would you say it allows me to watch? They have some Japanese broadcasts. I noticed you can, they'll have some games where they'll actually have Japanese announcers doing them. And I, oh, that's great. Yeah. I, yeah. So I watched, I watched one, but that I'm sorry. Japanese announcers are horrible. <laughs> they don't talk about the game. They, they, they talk mostly about who the player is and, you know, what they're famous for. And, you know, it's kind of like a social event, you know, 
I want to, I want to know, you know, what the, you know, why the lineman didn't pull or what happened. You know, I, I want kind of the, the dirt on the game. So, so you're going for the Rams, huh? Well, uh, What's the line right I'm now going for the Rams? I'm, I have no idea. No, uh, I, I, last time I saw it, it was four and a half. The Rams were favored by four and a half. So, but we'll, we'll soon find out. Uh, who is it? The Bengals? Bengals. Yeah. Yep. Joe Burrow. Yeah, and he's only been around two years. You know, he's been a, he's a uh, a new quarterback, and, and fourteen uh, fourteen months it, ago he had an operation on his ACL. So he's made quite a comeback. Amazing, but yeah, and and so we'll see who who's going to uh, win. But it's 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 been an interesting road up to this point. Well, what what what? You, did you, you watch know, the Kansas City Bengals game, Cincinnati game? No. Oh, did I, you? Yeah. Well, I watched. I've watched every minute of every game this playoff season. So, okay. first time in, in more than thirty years that I've done that. <laughs> yeah. And and man, yeah, that, that's and, great. And it for me, well, it's, it's good to be back in football. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's it's great. It's kind of nice to be able to watch it like that. You know, the the Pro Bowl was on on today from Las Vegas, and uh, I always have loved watching the Pro Bowl. Mm. But I was amazed and actually rather disappointed today because it it has become tag football. The Pro it, Bowl is tag football. The last time I saw the Pro Bowl, man, I uh, might be twenty years ago. Here in Japan, they showed it, and and I, I it was tag football then. So I, I mean, now uh, it was. Just, I think it's. I think it's. It to me, it seems much more like tag football now. It's been a long time since I've seen a pro football game, and I, I don't know if it, if if all my years in Japan that I saw the Pro Pro Bowl in Japan. Can you watch it there? Yeah, I mean, on the NFL game, the the pass. I mean, on on NHK or something. Nope. There have been no football games on NHK at all this year. Zero. Just so and, so. And the, I, think, I watched the. Pro- I think the Super Bowl will be on. That's it. So. Well, I watched the Pro Bowl. Um, today and it was it was truly tag football because they they'd throw a, a big long pass and then um, they'd get the receiver and then they'd huddle around them and tag them and they wouldn't they wouldn't tackle them. Well, to me, it it's like watching the NBA All Star Game. I there's really nobody plays defense. Nobody cares about defense. They just want to see offense. So, and the defensive guys, the only ones who are going to make a difference on defense. And I would assume in the Pro Bowl are like the defensive backs because they want to they want to make an interception. I think I saw a, an update on my phone that in the first half there was like seven interceptions between the both T- AFC and NFC. There were seven interceptions, and one was already returned for a, for a touchdown. So I mean, I mean that's not even quality All Star game, you know. Well, no, I was and didn't. Plus, um, you know, if you scored, you had the option of keeping the ball. And if you scored, you could uh, make it fourth down and 15. Yeah. And, and get another try. And you can still keep going. Wow. You could keep, keep going. So uh, it was kind of interesting. I mean, apparently it, 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 it fell flat, but, but what was interesting is, is it was truly tag football. It was, it was not tackle. And I, I, I know why. Um, they, I think that the risk of injury to these players for a, non, um, a non-league, how do I put it, an, an unimportant game was too right. great. Right. Yeah. 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 And I can see Because, that. you know, yeah, so it was, it was quite interesting. But, you know, back to the Super Bowl, I'm really looking forward to the Super Bowl this coming, this coming um, Sunday. Well, the one thing that, that, that hasn't happened that usually happens with the Super Bowl, and I think it's because of the corona, is like there's no radio row. 
you know, what they, what they used to do is like, they would have all these multiple media days where all these people would, 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 would be at the stadium or in the area and people, the reporters would send their teams. And even the Japanese, I remember NHK would send a team to the Super Bowl and they would be interviewing, checking out the food, you know, doing all this kind of stuff, but they can't do that because. Yeah. You know, you got to get out of this uh, pandemic thing. We really do. It's going to take a while. What's it like in Japan now? Pandemic wise? Well, we're, we're, we're in our. Do you think Japan's going to open up to four? No, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Uh, right now, they're trying to get the uh, Omicron uh, surge down. Uh, maybe around the end of March, early April, they might consider opening up more. But right now, they've turned away uh, 90% of the uh, foreigners the number of foreigners from compared to last year, 90% have been turned away. And uh, even JET teachers, uh, the ALTs that work for the schools and stuff are, are not being allowed to enter the country yet. So what are the schools doing? Are they doing without ALTs? Yeah. Or they're hiring within like, like, like what you used to do, you know, they'll just hire the, the, the local foreigners who's in the country and try to get to the yeah, job. Yeah. So, so right now, for example, some of the teachers at my school, I mean, I'm losing people or are, are getting offered many jobs now and they're putting together multiple jobs. And I, I have to compete against that now because I, I, yeah. I don't get, I don't get teachers from overseas. I just find from the locals, but um, that's a, that's a big issue. So, you know, and then doing the lessons online and stuff, there a lot of schools are going without ALTs because it's not necessary to have them to do lessons online. Since students are not that versed with the Zoom world yet or PCs, you know, uh, or, or, you know, there, a lot of the teachers can't work in Japanese. They can only work in English. So it's kind of like, you know, again, Mendoxai, too much trouble. So they'll just go without ALTs. Mm -hmm. So they'll postpone their LT programs to later, you know, so. Well, so you don't think, in other words, you don't think summer of 2022 that Japan is going to open up to foreigners uh, I, as of right it, now? As of right now, no, until they see a, a definite uh, decrease in the Omicron variant and a more stabilization within the cities, you know. Uh, like your prefecture or at Aichi has, um, has, uh, you know, averaged well over a five or 6,000 people <laughs> on some occasions a day, a day. Yeah. You know, that's like know. Los Angeles. Uh, Los Angeles is about 7,000 right now. Yeah. So that your area has been doing that. Uh, even Niigata, we've been up to as high as 700 Greg here in Niigata. 700. Um, it's pretty what, amazing. What, we, you know, when we're talking, we're out here to a bunch of Toki and in Shiba Inu, but you know, you know, yeah, I mean, we're yeah. we're we're up there. So, so until until these areas get feel stable, you know, they did they did reduce the uh, quarantine down from seven days down to five days in some areas, and from ten to seven in some on some other areas. So, like our areas is down to five days. So, but in the Tokyo or, or Nagoya, I, they're down to seven days. So I, you know, I don't know, you know, um, I mean, we've, we've had at my school, we've had, you know, kids with uh, test positive for COVID and we've done all of our protocols and, but still there's people getting sick now. So, and usually these are the ones who are working part-time jobs. And so they see, they have contact with hundreds of people a day. So. I don't know. I don't have much contact. I only see about the same. Yeah. I only see the same, you know, 10 or 15 people every single day. That's it. And then when I'm not at work, you know, I only see one or two people. So, so I'm safe. So that's all that matters. I'm doing my bit. Well, I'm staying safe. And, and in the meantime, we have Super Bowl next week. That's right, Greg. So, so we're not going to renew our bet or do I have to change and, and, and change the Bengals? and the points okay greg i'm gonna do that because you've done that for me like where you hated the patriots so i ended up taking the patriots but winning so this time i'll take the Bengals 
even though I'm a Rams fan. You got the Rams. I got the Bengals, but I'll take the points, whatever the points are at kickoff, okay? Okay, sounds good to me. All right, and but you still owe me that stake. This will we have to make you, a you different. Got it. This is a different bet, though. So what are we we'll betting have on that this stake one? someday? No, uh, we'll have, what what do we? <clears throat> enchiladas. Ah. So okay. If, how if, about, um, the, if, how uh, about if I win, you have to make them for me. So if you win, I'll make I'll I'll come to your place wherever you're at in the world, and I'll make you homemade enchiladas. Yeah, I'll buy it. I'll buy it all. I'll get it all, and I'll roll those puppies for you. Okay, that's great. Now, if I win, I don't want you making me enchiladas. So, <laughs> well, let's see, let's see. Oh no, I'll take you there. I'll take you to a restaurant with them where you can get them. Let's do, do, do it this way. Since you're on the Cal- on the California side, okay. If you, if I win, you take me to In and Out Burger. Oh, you got it. Because I because that that's easy. That'll work. Enchiladas yep. or In and Out Burger. Okay. You got it. All right, yep. man. All right. Good luck on the game. So Rams, Rams for Greggy, the the Bengal Tigers for me. We'll have some points, and we'll see what happens. Kickoff next week. <laughs> I'll be. I hope I can watch it. So <laughs> I have to work. This is the first time in like 15 years next I have to work week in Los Angeles. But I have yeah. to work on. on you know, Monday. I'll be. But what's interesting is you and I have in in Shibata um, have at that very place that you're at right now. We've um, had at least two to three Super Bowl. Uh, we've had three Super Bowl Party, viewing yeah. parties. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and including one time when my Seahawks were in, in the Super Bowl. I remember that. I won that. Bet yeah. Too. So good, good, <laughs> good memories. <laughs> good memories. Yeah, good memories. Yeah. Well, anyway, Greggy, this is, we're going to, we're going to end this uh, musings from Japan now, but you got to fix that Wi-Fi. I don't know. You got to tell your, you know, yeah, tell somebody my apologies to everybody for, my, my apologies for my Wi-Fi connection. Thanks for viewing our uh, musings from Japan, number 43. 44. 44. Uh, I, I finally made a mistake. <gasps> Greg. 44. I'll write it down. Greg made a mistake. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Thank 44. you, everyone. Thank you for music from Japan. And thank you, Greggy. Kyo skite. Kyo skite. Hi. Hi. Sayonara. Sayonara. Sayonara.